I'm very pleased to have this opportunity to address you tonight uh, on behalf of the University of Geneva and the MITS LLM and International Dispute Settlement. I would first of all, of course, thank the organizers for this initiative of uh, uh, an event uh, emphasizing the importance of ADR and I would also like to thank uh, Paolo for this uh, a book that she's edited and uh, co-hosting this event. I'm asked to say a few words about ADR in Switzerland. I'm of course pleased to do so. Uh, Switzerland is today one of the leaders globally as an ar international arbitration place and that is uh, often traced back to uh, days in the late 19th centuries when the so-called Alabama arbitration took place here in Geneva. It was an arbitration between the US and the UK about certain events in the course of the American Civil War. In 1971, uh, the tribunal sitting here in Geneva issued its award and that has uh, uh, is being remembered as the start of a long-standing tradition in international dispute settlement in Geneva. And of course, things have changed a lot since 1871, but uh, Geneva remains a center for dispute settlement. It hosts a number of uh, international organizations with a strong dispute resolution practices. Uh, obviously, the WTO and trade law uh, the WIPO, World Intellectual Property Office, also has uh, a center for international arbitration and mediation. Uh, there, in addition, of course, there's many commercial arbitrations taking place here under various rules such as ICC, Swiss Rules of International Arbitration and uh, many others including ad hoc arbitration, not to forget uh, obviously uh, arbitrations in the field of sports that are administered by the Court of Arbitration for Sport that has its uh, headquarters close to Geneva in Lausanne and where all the uh, arbitration for uh, sports at the comp high competition level are being uh, resolved. Uh, the high number of arbitrations that take place here of course are uh, attracted to Switzerland for a number of reasons in addition to a neutral stable political environment uh, Switzerland has a very uh, favorable arbitration a favorable uh, legal environment with a law that is now about 30 years old but still considered one of the more uh, advanced uh, legislations on international arbitration. It is a short, concise, easily understandable, uh, arbitration friendly. It enforces international arbitration agreement. It, uh, um, uh, it enforces the finality of awards, uh, gives a lot of weight to party autonomy and restricts uh, remedies against awards. We also have uh, friendly arbitration courts because it doesn't serve any purpose to have a good uh, legislation if you don't have the courts to apply it. Uh, the Swiss Federal Supreme Court, which is the only instance that resolves uh, annulment uh, action uh, has uh, well understood the needs of international arbitration and has uh, adopted a very consistent practice over the years that is uh, well regarded not only in Switzerland but also internationally. Um, the Supreme Court is also uh, receptive to well-reasoned criticisms by, by scholars 
uh, and uh, practitioners and academics and that uh, uh, leads me to my last point about arbitration in Switzerland and dispute settlement in Switzerland that uh, focuses on the contribution of academia. There is a uh, high number of uh, professors involved in Switzerland dealing with research and teaching in this area. There's a vast number of uh, pr uh, doctoral theses being uh, written. We also have here in Geneva the MITS program, which is an LLM, an international dispute settlement that, that I'm privileged enough to uh, be responsible for. It is a joint project of the Graduate Institute uh, of International Studies and the University of Geneva. Very recently we have also in this uh, context created uh, the SITS, the Center for International Dispute Settlement that is uh, will be the research arm and a platform for dialogue attached to the MITS. So this is, this is a, about it in a, in a nutshell about uh, international arbitration in Switzerland, the question of course arises whether there are other, uh, other uh, alternative dispute settlement mechanisms used here. Obviously uh, mediation and that allows me to give the floor to Birgit Sambet glasner who is um, often appointed as a mediator and is the head of the uh, dispute resolution uh, team of the Geneva firm of Altenberger. So, good evening, uh, dear colleagues. Um, I was asked to talk a bit about the situation of mediation as an ADR in Switzerland. And um, what I would like to tell you at first is that we have dramatically changed our point of view, I would say, with respect to this kind of uh, settlement proceedings. In the sense that uh, even though Geneva was uh, at the very start of mediation in Switzerland starting in 2001 with respect to criminal mediation law and 2005 regarding the civil and commercial mediation law, um, Switzerland as a, such, I mean, as a country has um, enacted a new law in 2011 uh, procedural law in uh, civil cases, also commercial cases, providing for mediation as um, an alternative to conciliation, respectively as mediation being part of the dispute resolution process in case people want to suspend the proceedings and go to mediation in, in order to settle the disputes and not having a court judgment. So. We have taken these very proactive steps and it works, it pays a bit, it pays more and more and we see that people, courts, corporations are using this tool more and more. It's also teached more and more at universities, we have this great program at MIDS also providing for mediation not only um, on uh, um, uh, how, to, how it works but also in trying. I mean, doing a mediation with the students for, uh, for them to understand how it really works and how the stance of the mediator is. Um, let me talk also a bit about international commercial mediation which very often have their seats in uh, Switzerland, in Zurich and very often in Geneva of course. Also because of what you certainly have already seen is uh, are the, the Swiss rules uh, whether in uh, international arbitration or in commercial mediation, uh, providing for very easy, uh, understandable, uh, doable uh, proceedings regarding uh, mediation and mediation followed by arbitration if this is provided for in the clauses the people have or the parties have uh, elected to choose. So, um, lots of things happening. What we see also is that WIPO, of course, the uh, Organization for Intellectual Property, is using mediation for a long time, more and more, more and more publicly known. We see also that lots of other organizations, uh, lots of other providers, the ICC, the CIAC, whatever, are 
often having mediations in Switzerland because also not only of the uh, great place Switzerland is providing for, but also for the people, uh, experts who have the knowledge, who have been trained, who are working since the last 20 years in this kind of fields and who are certainly reliable to be um, helping the parties, assisting them in facilitating a good dispute resolution process. So welcome to Switzerland, welcome to Geneva, whenever you want, we'll be very happy to have you here.